Hey y'all, welcome to the Weekly Refresher. Man, this past Sunday was an amazing service. I'm not sure in two and a half years if I have heard Andrea Carter sing and worship on the level that she did Sunday. And Chris Cawthon, as always, was amazing. And, and even though uh, Sean Kendrick got sick and lost his voice, did he not absolutely just nail it on Ain't No Grave? I was laughing when I came in Sunday morning because uh, on our trip back from Colorado, I was telling Lisa, we were listening to that the Bethel album and we were listening to Ain't No Grave. And I was sitting there telling her, I was like, we have got to get Andrea to do this song with Sean. Those were the two people that, that came to my mind because obviously Sean's got a real um, uh, anointing and, and a country flair to him. And uh, I, I just, it was so good to be back uh, from spring break. I trust you all um, had an amazing week. Paul did awesome uh, that Sunday while we were gone. I got to watch him uh, as we traveled to Pagosa via the live stream. And uh, unfortunately, the Nevo camera was dead this past Sunday, so only the podcast will be out uh, today. But I just wanted to kind of revisit this issue of apathy. Um, like I said on Sunday, when the Lord first said apathy, I heard just that one word really clear, apathy. And let me read to you again real quick what apathy means. It says apathy is a lack of feeling, emotion, interest, or concern about something of great importance. Apathy is a state of indifference or the suppression of emotions such as concern, excitement, motivation, or passion. And it's so, it's so easy to fall into a place of, of apathy in our life uh, in the midst of trials. And one of the goals of the enemy is to uh, wear down the saints. See, spirits don't get fatigued. Spirits don't get tired. But we, because we're in these fleshly tents, we fatigue. We need rest. Even Jesus would take the disciples and go off to the mountain and simply rest. And so I, I challenged you this past Sunday uh, to absolutely make war on apathy. How do we kill apathy? We talked about, um, actually in Revelation, one of the very first verses I felt like I was led to was the church of Laodicea. It says, Jesus said that, you're neither hot nor cold. And as we dug a little bit into that text, we recognize that even in ancient uh, times, you know, 2,000 years ago, uh, hot water was very soothing, it was useful. Cold water was very refreshing and useful. And so Jesus is setting this context like, listen, I wish you were hot because I can use that or I wish you were cold, because I can use that, but I can't use lukewarm. And lukewarm is a picture of someone who's absolutely fallen into apathy. They've become completely indifferent. And in an attempt to preserve their life, to protect their heart from rejection, they've absolutely gone into almost like numbing out. <clears throat> and so we, set this this stage and we dug into this issue of, of apathy we we also looked um, at a couple other um, scriptures we looked at the parable of the soil and remember that the different soils absolutely actually represented metaphorically the human heart we had the path we had the rocky ground and we had the thorns when you fall into a place of apathy, you can absolutely end up with a thorny heart, a rocky heart. Because apathy is actually the result of your heart hardening. 
how do we end up with a hard heart? It's very simple. We begin to grieve the Holy Spirit and we begin to quench the Holy Spirit. The moment that we step into disobedience, we begin to harden our souls. And, and uh, scripture even gives a picture of like our conscience being seared as like with a hot iron. It's calloused over. And so one of the things that we need to cry out to is for the Lord to soften our soul. I, I, I pray consistently, if not every day, Lord, soften my heart, knock the calluses off of my soul, give me eyes to see and ears to hear, and a heart that receives. The scripture says that Jesus opened the minds of the disciples so that they could understand the word. And that was before the baptism of the Holy Spirit. That was even before John 20 when he breathed the Holy Spirit into them. And so I want to challenge you this week um, with this refresher. Make war on apathy. Absolutely make it your goal this week to kill apathy in any area of your life. Invite the Holy Spirit into every area that you feel calloused over and allow Him to just breathe the breath of life back on those areas of your heart. I hope you all have an amazing week and I can't wait to see you all again this weekend. Bless you. Have an amazing week.